Updates on Tiki Falls 4.0. All types of ponds. Look at the waterfall. Water features. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Even Jesus had a fish story. I'm very good. That expensive for tarps. Pinning it down with the whole. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. And I got to give a huge shout out to my boys over in Arizona. Pondscapes AZ, my brother Ralph and the entire staff there. Thanks for the beanie. I need this beanie for inspiration today because guess what, Ohana? We are working on Tiki Falls 4.0. Oh, that was my point. I don't know what I was doing with my hand there. It is about time. I know you guys have been asking me, hey, updates on Tiki Falls 4.0 update what's going on with the pond today's the day oh i'm going to show you guys what we've done we got a lot of work today on this channel we talk about everything aquatics the koi pond right there above ground pond is right behind me there all my koi are in there my precious koi i should say and i'm building this new home for them now with that being said i got a lot of things going on right now i'm going to give you guys a quick update for those of you guys that haven't seen or heard about the 4,000 gallon pond tiki falls so i'm going to show you guys some clips of when we started to dig this massive Pawn. Check it out. Now you guys get a general idea of what the pond is going to look like. It looks a lot different now, and I will show you guys shortly what's going on. My boy Dennis is on his way here. Him and I went to the rock yard here in Lincoln, California, and we had to pick up some rock. We had to pick up some base gravel, uh, but I wanna show you guys what a rock yard looks like. Well, especially the ones here in Lincoln, if you guys have never been to one. They just have a bunch of variety of rock, gravel, uh, decorative rock, stone that you can use to build all types of ponds and water features. But anyways, let's take a trip and go check this place out. Look at this beautiful pondless waterfall. Look at the waterfall. Look at the bubblers they have here. Look at a rock bubbler there. Look at this waterfall coming out of the rock. That thing is awesome. And it's going on a piece of driftwood there. Look at it. it comes down. Look at this little bubbler here. Look at that. I love this work. Look at that little bridge. And then it comes down to this last bubbler right here. And that's where the water descends. Down inside there, there's probably a pump. You can see they're filling it up. So maybe they're just running it right now. But anyways, I had to show this off to you guys. A beautiful pondless waterfall. And this is the kind of rock that they have here. So um, probably just a nice little uh, way of showing off their rocks and gravel that they have here i love it though they probably sell these uh rock bubblers pretty cool anyways that's it ohana all right so we actually purchased three yards of base gravel this is the first yard that's being dumped and they charge 50 dollars a yard so you can do the simple math 150 dollars uh for three yards of base gravel Yeah, this place is actually really cool. I mean, they got all different types of sands and dirt and gravel, rock. Look at this cobblestone here. Let me show you guys this. Uh, they have like two different sizes of cobblestone. So as we come right around here, the truck, you got a smaller size cobblestone. I don't even know the diameter, but you can see the difference with my hand, give you a size reference. And then you have this type of uh, cobblestone, bigger. So it's really cool. Look at different types. There's pond gravel, uh, pea pebble, um, base gravel. There's uh, sand and dirt, different colors. I think that's like a black sand right there. And, you know, just different types of uh, gravels that you can use for your pond to aquascape. It's like a dream, you know? Look at 
I love that decorative stone. That's really nice. And then the pond pebble that they have here too, it's a lot cheaper to order by the yard than it is to uh, buy like, you know, the three or four bags uh, of it at like Home Depot or Lowe's. All right, so we're back home and we're dumping three yards of base gravel right in front of my house. Thank God my boy, you know, Dennis has a trailer. Uh, this helps out and saves so much money this way. Yep, there you go. That's three yards of base gravel. It's not as much as you think, right? When it's in a pile in front of your house. And now guess what? This guy had a wheelbarrow, three yards of base gravel into the backyard. Let me flip the screen around and show you. There it is. Three yards of base gravel. You talk about a workout, Ohana. Me and my cobalt wheelbarrow, customized. Look at that. Oh, the Hawaiian fish keeper. You know your boy had to customize the uh, wheelbarrow out, right? <laughs> Three yards of base gravel that's going to go in the pond. And I will keep you guys posted and I'll let you guys know what we're going to do with all of this. We got to run over to Lowe's because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And we don't want rain to settle down in this pond. Because of the soil here, it's like a, it turns into like a mud clay base where we cannot work on it. So I gotta stop what I'm doing, head over to Lowe's, pick up a couple tarps. I don't even know what tarps cost. So I don't know, we'll check it out and I will see you guys at Lowe's. Let's go ahead and teleport. Okay, we're at Lowe's and this is the section where they have, oh my gosh, they are expensive. 12 by 16, $91 for 20 by 30, 16 by 20 feet, 88 bucks. I just need five mil. I just need the five millimeter thinner one, 20 by 30, 120. Oh, good Lord. Nope. It looks like we're going to have to get this 16 by 20 for 51 bucks. I need another one. We'll get this 20 foot by 30 foot. Ugh, geez, for $91. Jeez Louise. I had no idea it was going to be that expensive for tarps. Just so you guys know, if you guys need to buy some tarps, be prepared. Be very prepared. All right, so we just spent $150 on tarps, just two tarps. It sounds like I got a lot of tarps but for a hundred and, well, actually it was $160. Man, lows, there was nothing low about that, okay? So we got our tarps. I feel a lot more secure that we have these. Ugh, unnecessary though, gosh, $160. Man, this one's gonna, this one's gonna haunt me for a while. Just take it from me, all right? Build your pond and complete it in the summertime. And that way you don't have to worry about rain coming and having to spend $160 on tarps to cover it. See, learn from my mistakes. We are back home just like that. Man, as I got home, guess who's here? My boy, your boy, everybody's favorite YouTuber, my boy Dennis. And check out that shirt, huh? Even Jesus had a fish story. Love the shirt, my man. Everybody wants to know, what did you bring, my man? Come bearing gifts. Come on, let's go check he it out. He comes bearing gifts. Let's go see what he brought us. Hey, and before I show you guys the gift that Dennis brought us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Turn it on. Because what's that going to do, Dennis? Uh, I have no idea. It's going to notify you when you <laughs> upload a new video. That's all it does. And it's absolutely free. Free. <laughs> all right. Ooh, what did he bring us? Oh, man. I mean, Mr. Dennis Rishi brings his trailer. Good Lord. Oh, I see pallets of cinder blocks. Two pallets of cinder blocks. Or they call them wall block. Ooh, man, these are nice, D. And you guys at home, maybe, oh, we got some PVC pipes. We got elbows and all kinds of good stuff. A lot of you guys may be wondering why we have all these cinder blocks in the back of Dennis's trailer. Well, stay tuned. We'll show you guys and tell you guys what we plan on doing. And just like that, we just unloaded two pallets of brick. How you feeling, man? You feeling good? Oh, he said perfect. Let me tell you guys something. If you guys are looking to lose some weight, get in shape, dig yourself a pond, okay? It doesn't have to be 4,000 gallons. Hell, you can dig a 500 to 1,000 gallon pond and get a great workout. You don't need any gym membership. It's called the natural gym. Anyways, all of these our stage here in the backyard, you got some there. I don't know, probably a pallet there, a pallet here. And we probably need two more pallets. These we got at Lowe's, I think they're 48 to a pallet. They were like $4.40 a brick, something like that. So you guys can do the quick math on that. I'm exhausted. Now we gotta jump in this pond, do some more shaping, carving. And uh, I haven't even showed you guys what the pond looks like now. Hold on.
All right, my Ohana. What you've all been waiting for, a quick update on Tiki Falls 4.0. I got my boy Dennis right here. He's gonna explain a little bit more in detail of what we're doing and what the markings represent. I'm gonna give you kind of the rough draft and show you guys what it looks like, okay? Let me give you a little snippet, all right? We'll do a before and after, okay? Here's before, last video that I shot, what it looks like. And this is what it looks like now, Ohana. As you can see, we leveled out all this area here pretty much. We have this shelf right here that we built. We're gonna actually put some pond lilies on that shelf. And all this blue marking here, this is the shallow area as we kind of, it slopes down into a deeper end. We got this pipe, perforated pipe here. This is for hydrostatic pressure. And we'll show you once we get this all dialed in. But I wanted to show you guys on video what that pipe or what that blue line is for. Now, all this little blue line marking here is like a trench, right? And my boy Dennis is gonna explain what we're gonna do and he's gonna use this pointer here. <laughs> all right, so Dennis, go ahead and take it away, my man. So we're gonna dig out this uh, trench right here, mm -hmm. all the way around. We're gonna go four to six inches down and then uh, we're gonna add base rock in there and compact it. So that'll be the foundation for our cinder block. Oh, and he's talking about cinder blocks. He's talking about those cinder blocks right there. and those cinder blocks. So we're building a cinder block wall inside the pond. So you guys got a little bit of a sneak peek. This is what it looks like. And uh, guess what? We got rain tomorrow, yep. 99% chance it's going to rain, which means we gotta cover this entire pond. I bought two big tarps. We gotta cover the entire pond, at least the bottom of it. And of course, water will collect on that tarp but I'll have a pump and we'll just pump that water out. That way we can remove the tarp once it dries up and we can still work on the pond. So that is the whole deal. And uh, man, this thing is uh, coming to life, Ohana. Tell me what you think down in the comments, huh? Now the whole cinder block wall might be a little confusing for some of you guys, uh, but don't worry. Once we start it and it comes to life, you guys will get the idea, okay? And the reason why we did it, all right? It's gonna look super nice. We still need to buy probably a couple more pallets of these cinder blocks, but once this gets all dialed in, oh, Ohana, I can't wait. All right, so we're prepping for the rain, as you can see behind me, the tarp. Let me show you guys, let me flip the screen around. We're prepping the pot. We're just pinning it down with the bricks. My boy Dennis is, uh, in this tarp it's gonna rain damn it this rain ah. i don't know man all i have to say is even jesus had a fish story <laughs> hey what's up with the beard man are we gonna trim that beard i'm considering it oh he's considering it oh hunter down in the comments right now yes for the beard or no for the beard i think we want to see that clean look aqua velva dennis that's what we want to see the clean look aqua velvet dentist. My vote is, let's get rid of the beard, huh? Let's get rid of the beard. Let, maybe maybe do one of these, Dennis. Maybe you do one of these little soul patches or whatever they call it, no? You don't wanna do that, man? I mean, in tribute? <laughs> no? Anyways, down in the comments, you guys vote. Yay or yes for the beard, no for the beard. I mean, I think I'm done with the beard, man. That Grizzly Adam beard is like gnarly, man. Grizzly Adams had a beard. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. All right, my Ohana, so that pretty much does it for this episode. I hope you guys love this update on Tiki Falls 4.0 behind me. The tarp, we're going to cover it up. Rada, thank you so much. My man, we're going to get rid of that beard too. Ohana, I'll talk to you guys and I'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha. <laughs> Hello.